all the hospital administrators, receptionists and admin workers who work in NHS healthcare in the UK. Please can I ask how you do it? How do you do your job without guilt? It must be hard for you. Please try and put yourself in the shoes of some of the patients you meet. You type up their release papers from hospital. Do you read what you write and type? Does it make you feel sad and full of compassion or have you just hardened your heart to what caring is about? When someone is admitted to hospital, it's because they are sick and unwell. The doctors and nurses treat them and decide that they are ready to leave. You lovely admin people type up the details of the release papers. Address. No fixed abode. Do you know what no fixed abode means? You typed it. It means the person has no home. They've just been released from hospital, straight onto the street with no home. They are homeless. When you type something like that, does it not occur to you to bring it to someone's attention, to notify your supervisor or superior? You're sending someone who's only just come out of hospital treatment onto a dirty, freezing cold street. Where is the aftercare? Surely anyone with any sense can see that you can't release people from hospital onto the street. As a hospital or a hospital worker, you have a duty of care. That's your job. Here in the UK, we used to have matrons working in NHS hospitals. They ran the hospital wards, ensuring everything was clean and everyone was doing their job. And it worked. The matrons did their job and they did it well. Until the system was changed. Like many things, it didn't need changing. It wasn't broken. Yes, well, we don't have the beds. We have to patch them up and get them out ready for the next lot, I hear some say. These are people, not commodities. And it's a hospital, not a merry-go-round at a seaside attraction. Prisoners are not released onto the street without a support service and somewhere to go. Think about that. A good suggestion would be to reinstate matrons, not only to run the wards, but to run the admin side too. No patients should ever be released from hospital without somewhere suitable to go to for recuperation and certainly never out onto the street. Duty of care to people means just that. It's your duty to care. If it takes time to sort somewhere, then so be it. If it takes money to do it, then so be it. People come before time and money. It's clear and it's simple. Oh, and matrons, we'll be seeing you again soon.